Let's play an offensive counterpunch style with Kaito in the Twitch 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wi-Fi Studios. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 if you like this video. We start the first match with an opponent having a higher total power than me, 10 more points. I'm playing with a build that has a weaker forehand than the, my backhand, so obviously my opponent is going to insist a bit on my forehand. But he diversifies as well. He doesn't always hit on my forehand. That would be too easy to anticipate for me. So um, he's doing the windshield wiper <laughs> style too. And well, he wasn't very accurate during, and me neither, during the first points of the match. So we were playing with the choker quartz string which uh, has become, um, a bit has been, in Tour 7 lately. Right now, since um, three or four days, three, one. Uh, at, the, at the time I recording, um, I'm recording, i recording the commentary for this video, well, almost 80% um, or even more of players in Tour 7 uh, playing with the uh, Maestro Monty, which has um, Stamina Shield Tier 2, why the Joker Court string only has a stamina shield at tier 1. And the 20% uh, the remaining, yeah. There was a small visual glitch there near the net with the uh, previous point. Oh my gosh, yeah. We were both uh, quite inaccurate in this match. And uh, yeah, I was saying that the 20% remaining are using special strings like the African string or the um, frost cord. Oh, right. That was the uh, most secure choice actually to play on my forehand. Sometimes it's a bit weird. It was hitting a bit too much towards the center of the, the baseline that was very easy to to counter well probably that he was afraid of hitting to of committing a lot too many and for I mean so hitting towards the uh, center of the baseline was the best thing to do okay that's right so the uh, Winching wiper moves are still the most efficient to play. You alternate between the two corners of your opponent's court. Sometimes, if you can, you would think about wrong footing your opponent by hitting twice or three times in a row towards the same corner. Or if you can, you hit uh, a cross court drop shot. Combo followed up by uh, a hit towards the totally the other corner. I don't know what he wanted to do there, but that's cool. All right, let's take a look again at the stats. Uh, it's too bad. I, uh, I I would love to see uh, a sum up, you know, a total power shown directly on the stats screen right there at at the end at the last line, you know, like uh, 335 versus uh, 325, something like that. It would be cool to have a direct, uh, this direct information there. Anyway, so Maestro Monty versus Choker Quartz. And this opponent is having higher stats as well. He is having 14 more points in total power. And he is playing um, regularly on a consistent basis. His hits are more ac accurate than a lot of uh, other opponents. I've played this opponent several times. And he's quite accurate, actually. He does have more trophies right now than 2,552. He's uh, Progressing, and which is normal almost, I would say. Yeah, you just saw a visual glitch again. 
this glitch has disappeared since the last update of the Tennis Clash made on the uh, 28th, I think, or 27th of May. Ow. Oh, right. So, yeah, I was saying that that, that would be normal with his stats to uh, to be at least something like in the top uh, 70 or 60 if he plays accurately and thinks a bit uh, about anticipation, about positioning, about front footing. His strategy is a bit uh, easy to force the tough. It's almost always the uh, windshield wiper. It's no uh, sneaky shot. Not a lot of sneaky shots. There's no change of rim. No change of pace. Yeah. No sudden change of pace, which is uh, hard sometimes, you know, to handle. Because um, you are hitting very fast shots all the time, and then suddenly you have, a, like here, a soft cross court shot, and that's that is uh, disturbing for your swipe. So um, you need to, uh, you need a bit of finesse. Then to uh, to counter properly, and he he seems to to like uh, to prefer to use the uh, power, the powerful shots. So we don't have a lot of Victoria now in tour seven, at least at my uh, for my matchmaking, and I would say that. Uh, unless you have the Anvil at level thirteen and. Victoria at level 13 plus the uh, hammer and the forge at level 12, which is the case of uh, some top uh, 20 players playing with Victoria now and then. Well, unless you have this, uh, this kind of level for your cards, it's pretty tricky now for Victoria to survive. Facing very, very agile Kaito in tour 7 and tour 8. The problem is that uh, wh when I take my Victoria, who is at level 12 only, uh, well, only, <laughs> for a top 50, this is, uh, this is a, a laugh. Um, because sh she's having a 75 agility, you know. And if you take uh, the antioxidants card to have a bit of stamina, have the equivalent of stamina um, to the same thing almost than uh, Kaito. Well, you would end up with a 67 of forehand, 67 of backhand, so, which is not very uh, much higher than Kaito's, and which is very standard compared to the uh, the forehand, backhand of a lot of tough 30 uh, players. Who, uh, who have a 69 forehand or even more actually for the top 20 so um, that's very hard to uh, to fight versus very high trophy players you can still win versus uh, players who don't have a lot of uh, trophies generally that means that they don't have a very very high stats card but um, well, when you find versus all the tough 100 who are, who are playing with Kaito and especially versus tough 50 players, it's very hard. Here you can see that uh, this opponent is having the same build than my Victoria. She's, she was playing with um, the Afri African string, which is a very good string. Well, that wasn't enough versus um, just normal Kaito. I say normal, just normal. That's, I mean, that is uh, in comparison uh, with the Kaito that the other tough, fifth, uh, tough uh, 100 players have. And this, uh, this Kaito that I have right now is weak compared to a lot of tough 50 players. And the problem is that with my number of trophies, I match a lot of times with tough 50 players. So that's quite tricky Three. when you have uh, almost all the time 
15 to uh, 20 uh, fewer points in total power versus them. But anyway, Three. that forces you to, um, to counterbalance by other things. Anticipation, for instance, r Two. hit patterns, Three. reading, things like that. That's fun too. I'm not complaining, it's just a obs observation actually. Well, I need to really to level up my the hammer and the forge. I'm itching to have them at uh, level 12, and uh, that will be much better once I have them. Four, 11, 12 instead of level 11, that will add uh, four points in each hand, in forehand and backhand. And well, with 68 and 68 Three. in both hands, forehand and backhands. My shots will be. Uh, we have uh, the words to say already while waiting for the Envian to, ha to be at level 13. That would uh, give me four more points in agility. That would be awesome. But, well, I still have like something like 600 Envian cards to get. That's not easy at all to get them. Each time I get them, like uh, a batch of a small batch of four or five Envian cards, and that's a bit, uh, yeah. So those matches we are playing, I, w I had already said that, but I have to specify it again. At the moment, uh, when there was a kind of glitch in the game, but that has been uh, hot fixed since. Edivo was having some problems sometimes touching the net a bit uh, weirdly or doing some kind of zigzag in the air. Two, one. Fortunately that was corrected quite quickly. So you have uh, noticed some things, maybe, that Choco Quartz had some problem, big problem, about um, stamina drain they were draining their stamina much faster. And it's not, it's not a problem of uh, long catching. Not at all. Even if they, they didn't long ca uh, use the long catch, th when they, d they don't trigger the long catch effect, they still lose, they still deplete their stamina much faster. Two, four. With a stamina shear tier one, yeah, this invisible ball bug has been fixed Three, lately too. So yesterday, or two days ago, I don't remember exactly, but it has been fixed. So I if you uh, succeeded in making the rally last a lot, well, you have big chance Five, to win the rally. Four. Look at the way the stamina bar of this opponent is going down. And with it uh, going to uh, the, the yellow status and then to the orange one, he can barely move afterwards. And that's very easy for you to end he rally to win the point if you have more stamina. Alright, so this opponent is not uh, taking care of his stamina. He has decided to bet on his strong forehand and backhand and his high agility to try to make the difference. It works sometimes, but um, I know him. He's not very, very uh, accurate. Two, one. That's his main problem. And I have seen that in a lot. Of yeah, there was a, ang a camera angle problem there. The camera wasn't moving correctly to follow the ball. So um, it's not just uh, in one match that he has this problem. He has this uh, inaccuracy problem in a lot of matches, very regularly. Sometimes, yeah. And yeah, there was this problem too, with the uh, the player totally 
able to to hit the ball who, who had a, a cycle of accuracy and agility right on the ball but the player just couldn't hit the ball that was all in the same in same days actually several works in the same days but it has been corrected so sometimes I was saying that uh, he can be accurate but not enough actually to do that consistently of course I try to shot in rallies too so, so as to outflank him as fast as possible and not give him the opportunity to make accurate this shot so that's a problem for him too okay so in this match uh, I wanted to show us a bit particular build I don't see this one a lot this player is putting almost own points on uh, agility and stamina and some on the serve that's weird Kato so he ends up having relatively weak forehand and backhand so even when he's uh, triggering the critical tier 2 with his frost card that doesn't hurt a lot so of course I think that he was testing his, uh, his uh, build and trying to see if uh, he can make the opponent run making long rallies and then uh, win points by, uh, by m making the opponent become exhausted Net. but uh, well it didn't work maybe it can it can work if uh, you give that to a very experienced player maybe but I don't think that is the case of this opponent with uh, 1600 trophies I don't think that he has uh, the same experience than the top 20 uh, players one so you give that to ABC or to um, to Sam to Flash to Halep etc all those uh, famous uh, top 20 players even top 10 well I think that this boon may have some impact may have some effect but well, you need to, uh, to play that you need to be uh, ready to play very long matches because obviously you have to it almost worked it actually I was kind of ex I started to be very tired but yeah it was too late by then for my opponent because I, I led a bit too much there but it almost worked I was quite exhausted by the end but well I ended up winning this last point needed to win the match so yep his plan didn't work very well couldn't have worked if uh, he worked me out like uh, five or six more rallies well I hope you enjoy watching me have some practice matches with the offensive counter puncher style in the tour 7 of tennis clash a sports game published by wi studios here's my build again don't forget to subscribe to the channel gameplay 365 to stay tuned for new videos of tennis clash thank you a lot for your support and see you soon again play 365 bye bye